So in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, Clockwork, which is a tool I built for resource efficient static scheduling uh, for multi-rate image processing applications. And this was a joint work with Steve Dye and my advisor, Pat Hanrahan, and it's gonna appear at FCCM 21. <clears throat> so image processing algorithms, if you look at their properties, they're basically an algorithm designer's wish list and, and a hardware designer's wish list. Um, they've got very predictable memory accesses, very high locality, high data reuse, massive data parallelism, and massive pipeline parallelism. And the result of that is that you can get uh, order of magnitude speedups compared to CPU and GPU implementations uh, by implementing custom hardware for these algorithms. There is a problem though, which is that the people who actually understand image processing, the image processing experts, are accustomed to writing in languages like C++, Python, or DSLs like Halide, where algorithms are expressed as uh, you know, sequences of loop nests or iterators that update the values of pixels stored in multidimensional arrays. So for example, on the left, we've got kind of a cartoon of an image processing application where there's two stages or two loop nests. Um, the first one takes in a 64 by 64 image and brightens it by multiplying every pixel by two. And then the second one uh, downsamples this 64 by 64 image into a 32 by 32 image by averaging together every consecutive two by two square of pixels. What hardware architects would design for an application like this would be you know, a data flow architecture like the one shown in the center here, where um, each loop nest in the original application here and here uh, gets its own dedicated processing element. And then uh, streams of pixels flow across the processing elements through high bandwidth, uh, small size reuse buffers called line buffers, uh, and that are finally output. So for example, we'd input the stream of pixels, multiply each pixel by two. As we do that, we would uh, pass these pixels into a line buffer, which would store just enough uh, pixels in the image to output two by two squares, send the two by two squares to a PE that uh, blurs them together, and then output an output stream for uh, maximal parallelism and minimum uh, on-chip uh, working set. So how do we bridge this gap automatically between uh, you know, kind of imperative descriptions of image processing algorithms and the architectures we want? And to do that, uh, which is gonna be the focus of this talk, there's gonna be one added complication, which is that usually the user has some throughput target in mind when they target custom hardware. And so we're gonna be given some kind of uh, you know, input program with no pragmas or HLS style annotations to help the compiler out, just kind of the ordinary code that uh, a software image processing expert would write and a throughput target that they want to reach, like one pixel per clock cycle. And we're going to output um, a data flow architecture, like the one on the right. And so the strategy we're going to use <clears throat> is that we're going to fuse all loop nests into one large perfect loop nest, optimize the reuse buffers into uh, shift registers or line buffers, and send the code to an HLS tool. And in this very simple strategy, where we basically just jam all of the loop nests into one higher locality loop nest with redesigned reuse buffers, Arguments to the function are going to become FIFOs that become inputs and outputs to the design. Internal arrays are going to become uh, customized reuse buffers. In this case, BR could become a shift register or a line buffer. And all control logic, all of the original for loops and all of the for loops and guards in the new fused loop nest are going to be implemented by the HLS tool in a single sort of global controller that maps uh, every operation to the clock cycle where it happens. And the claim in this talk is that this very straightforward procedure, which is basically just optimizing locality by fusing everything together, um, unrolling code where necessary to reach the uh, throughput target as well, and then sending the result to an HLS tool is actually gonna produce more scalable, more resource efficient, and actually even more versatile um, compilation procedure than existing image processing hardware compilers. So how do we do scheduling? And the first attempt on this project was to just take the original code, the four loops that were given, um, toss it into an off-the-shelf polyhedral scheduler, which in our case was ISL, and just hope that the best possible code comes out and then send that down to an HLS tool after optimizing reuse buffers. And this actually kind of works for small applications, but it doesn't work that well. So there's a few problems. The first one is that uh, polyhedral schedulers reorganize your statements for a higher locality, but they don't tell you how much you should unroll each stage in order to reach a throughput target, right? They don't actually know a lot about resource allocation. They're mostly good at uh, scheduling. The other one is that code generation is kind of finicky. In our experience, the ISL code generator will sometimes split up loops or create complicated nested if statements that share logic but can confuse the HLS tool into uh, generating an IAI above one, which is catastrophic. And they're also not scalable, so large designs um, can take a very long time to schedule, and really polyhedral tools 
uh, like ISL don't scale beyond a few dozen statements, and we're interested in compiling applications that have hundreds of statements and being able to do it fast enough to run unit tests uh, of a compiler like that many times a day because it's under active development in a pretty large group at Stanford. So we need a different strategy, and really the strategy is to just be more modest. And so for the rest of this talk, what I'm going to talk about is a customized scheduling procedure for multi-rate image processing applications. And this is a subset, which I'll describe precisely in a second, which has you know important applications where scheduling can be done a lot more efficiently and where code generation and reuse buffer synthesis are quite a bit easier.